What's up? What's up? I, uh... No one's adding a damn gun. What's up, Hugo? No, I was working on the arena mod, and I forgot to add all the, um, towns back in. This is the, uh, if I recall correctly, this is the new Holy Nation Citadel. What's up, uh, Hack? If I could make animals have ranged attacks, I'd make a minigun enforcer. Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to say it's possible, but it might be possible. So, um, this is one of the new assets that... Who the fuck made this? Why did, well, I forgot everything. Um, Jury. What the fuck is his name? He got hacked. And what's his name now? Jonas. 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 His name is Jonas. <clears throat> uh, but this will be... Um, Oron's got some more assets he's working on to kind of tie everything together. But this is going to be the new... I think we talked about making... So this will be the new Holy Nation Palace. Uh, and then... Bedroom up here. I'm surprised he didn't make this walkable, but you know, whatever. Uh, it looks like there's a bunch of visual glitches. Um, but the nav mesh works. I think the phoenix is supposed to sit here. Maybe. Or maybe down at the bottom? Well, it would make sense for guards to be here. And then, I guess if you're going to go up. I kind of wish, maybe I'll talk to Boron about this, but maybe if these... Mm, I don't know, because there's not really a lot of space. Because you come up here, and then... Is it true you and Boron had a baby? Well, I don't know how two dudes can have a baby, but... <gasps> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because if you go... Let me see. Thrones are under what? Misk? Interior, maybe?
I mean, this will work as a church, but it's weird because so I could see like if these doors were maybe here on these sides of the pillars, what you could do is you could have the Holy Phoenix sitting like here. But I kind of want to just put them like this. But that would literally ruin the... Uh, thanks for the sub, Walker. By the way, um, for those of you who are wondering if I recall correctly, there is... The, the sub goal is not like an actual sub goal I'm trying to reach. Yeah, okay, so I do agree with that, but this is the a pair, I don't know if you saw it, but this is the lower floor, right? So Jury wanted this to be, I don't know, it's such a hard sell. Yeah. So this is the first floor. Now, if it was designed any other way, I think what Boron needs to do is he needs to move stairs here. Um, he didn't finish the exteriors. Also, I think this um, collision is wrong. Hold on, let me see. Markers. Physics. Uh, no, it looks good. What is it? Is it P? Yeah, that's P. Hot swaps it. Um. Yeah, he. I don't. I don't know. I love Born to Death, but he he's taken on like a bajillion projects. Um. But yeah. So I think if this is gonna work, because I do generally agree with. Like, if you have a giant-ass set of stairs, you're going to want to come up and be looking directly at the phoenix, in this case, or the king, the leader. Now, like I was saying, well, this wouldn't make any sense, because you would have... See, this whole platform setup kind of looks weird to me, because you come up, I would almost expect like if this was if this was the actual throne platform <clears throat> don't call anyone a Jew see, so Born, what we were talking about since you just joined yeah, so I, that's what I was saying, right? So I think this would work as like a guard station, right? It draws you immediately up to like maybe two guards are standing on the stairs or something like that. Um, and then you can have like tables and stuff like down here. But then it begs the question of like, what the fuck do you do up here? Because you have, you have double doors here and then you have a door here. And both of these balconies are walkable. Uh... But it becomes weird because, like you were saying, this balcony? Right, but where would you put it? Would you put it because, would you put it like this? Oh yeah, I, well, see, I mean, this is only the platform, so I'm just messing around with it. right because this one has a covering but I figure if he would sit anywhere it would be like this and the doors would be like on these sides of the pillars that way he can you know 
sit on his throne. Sit on his throne. Look over. Well, I figure if anything, his guard quarters are going to be up here. Or his bed will be up here. Yeah, but I mean, but how would he be, so how would he be sitting on, on, up here? Like, where would you put him? Because you would want him front and center, so if people are coming out these double doors, then you would want him facing away from the view? That doesn't seem very kingly, very leader See, that's that's kind of why like I think if I was to do if I was to say anything moron would be move the doors like over here on the sides because that way when somebody comes up because I mean this is it it's a little bit nitpicky right but if we're talking yeah, if you're talking this door, I, I, there's not really anything to complain about. But if you can, I guess you can't really center it because the pillar, pillars are there. But if you can put a door on this side of the pillar and a door on this side of the pillar, then what you would have to do is come up the stairs and then go out and then come to the king. Oh, this door closes. Oh yeah, your building has rendering issues. Oh, what the fuck? No, oh, whatever. Uh, what's up, Tech? Egg, 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 Um, and you said you fixed all of the... Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Um... Uh... Lot is open. Let's go here. Okay, not flat, but it's, 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 that'll work. Alright, 
Um, let's see. So you have your gate. Did you ever? Uh, you'll have to. You'll have to add a. Oh wait, no. It's a gate, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, shut up. Should be connected. Oh. I hate that. You know how you know how much I hate that? No no no. It when you press control shift eleven, it only regenerates one zone. Instead of like all the accessible zones around your camera. Is this area up here not accessible? But you need something to have to it. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Ah. All right, so we got the uh, check gates are done. There are no, if I recall, he said there's no, yeah, there's no, um, what is it, what is it, coordinations, the, um, the, uh, nodes, there's no nodes on Um, which is fine for things like turrets, because you can just manage these turrets, and then so long as they're accessible through the map mesh. That's fine. Then he said, uh, so these would be the check assets. More so just to show them in a state of ruin no like they're uh <laughs> I forgot he gave them so dead so it's not it's not super apparent but I think I think did a great job on these like this one is obviously super apparent but then there's stuff like the station house that have uh
Oh god damn it. Have a doesn't doesn't have an interior. Uh, that'll be good effects. Holy Nation building fortresses. a wall, I guess. Uh, that's right, that's 
sign in Genesis. More on it, that's fucking fast. Watchtower. Holy Tower. This one is for walls. It goes on a wall. The walls are tumbling up the stairs. It gives them this weird futuristic, but also, like, very old feeling. Yeah, this house is built. So it's it, technically one house, but it's got two different sections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I really like this house. Um, I wasn't sure on it at first because I was thinking, you know, I was thinking two separate squads. I was thinking, you know, uh, how would you even determine that? God damn. Eh, whatever. I'll just die. Um, yeah, so I was thinking, you know, I was thinking we would have one squad here and then another squad here. But, what you could do is have this as like a shop. So, this entire floor would be like the shop of somebody. And then this side of the house would be like their house. And then, so you have, like, more house here, um, like, storage, or if this is, like, some kind of bar, um, it would work really well as a bar. You have this side as the bar entrance, although it looks like I'd have to raise it up a bit. That's some odd clipping issues, but nothing that can be fixed. Um, like, if this side is the bar, then this side is, like, the house. Uh, but yeah, cool. Cool, uh... Oh, right, okay. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, where do you see this? Tiny house. That's it. Tiny house. It's a minor texture. Geometry out of, out of the way, or the unwrappings off, but, uh, let's see, 
Oh, right. It's not. Right. Same model, just retextured with some updates. Yeah, he yeah, added the third floor. So I see what he did. He, <laughs> he took this and snapped it onto this. Yeah. His, uh, his collision. Doesn't work right. Let's save you. Let's see if there's any other bugs in this. Nope. This one, too, huh? Five and F eight. 
night. Nine. Definitely. What's up, uh, paper? Oh, it lowered that one. Alright, so, and that one can say. Oh, okay. So, this one is meant to be up higher. I think this one also comes off of a wall, which is why it's stuck so high. Or maybe he just forgot to, um, small house. That works. Uh, this one doesn't want to come down for some reason, but it was the top of the wall. That's why this opening is here. Okay. You. Okay. So, floor one, floor two, floor three. So, just Holy Nation power. It seems like it's a little bit taller. Really fucking tall tower. Good for Holy Nation, I guess. This one, in case you're wondering, is supposed to work something like this. Uh, let's see. So if this is the level, uh, work something kind of like this. Kind of like. So they come off the wall. I don't know what I could just use. Uh, buildings, Holy Nation, Towers, Side Entrance. Yeah, I don't think it's like it's not meant to snap. Uh, what is this going to do? Buildings. Maybe he wants to make it snap in the future or something like that. No. Let's say it doesn't look like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Oh, uh, did I do it again? I did it again. Uh, nope. Uh, shift the phone. 
interior. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, F5. F9. Yeah, that's the general idea. You have all the, the big three, their own visual style. And then there, over time, like, there's bound to be more and more and more, um, uh, buildings added. Um, but yeah. Theoretically, you're now down here. Should be the traversal. Yep. Okay. There we go. Zoomy. It's gonna be a bit of a pain, um, but I don't think it's it's too bad. Uh, tower's functional, it's walkable, uh, and it actually looks pretty good, too. I mean, this is a little, little short, uh, but, you know. Just some minor bugs, uh, buildings. But this building is supposed to work. Let's see. It's supposed to work something like this. Pollination buildings, houses. Let's see. It's working something. This. Uh, so I'm pressing the minus key, it's not going to power. So. Close to work, something like that, I think. I'm pretty sure Boron will have his own, own ideas and stuff like that, but it'll make for some interesting. Uh, cities, if they're all, you know, wall-based or whatever. So I should do this. And I need to go over here. Control ship 11. And I should be able to, theoretically, Yeah. See, I'll wait for what Let's see. Uh I have
Ja, ja, ja. Okay, so the moors and the shack. Couple issues: moors and the shack. Uh, Actually, before I fire that off, moron. Now that I'm finally paying attention, kill me. Oh, there. Kill each other. Go in. Uh, ship twelve. Uh, it's ability. Let's see, before I I mean there's nothing really unique about the building it's the cells short of the top uh, the overhauled Start playing Genshi again. Oh, well, I mean, outside of, you know. This. Outside of this. So, station house has no interior. So, let's check buildings. Check buildings. Station. Don't stop fucking attacking me. Alright, so I'll set up that. Uh, yeah, they'll be on YouTube. The streams will be on YouTube.
Um, yeah, so Jonas, Jonas, the creator of this building, Boron went through and rigged it and, and well, not rigged it. He went ahead and put it in game. But uh, Jonas made the initial model. Uh, I think he's going through some shit right now. I don't remember why he's not making any more buildings, but he has a bunch of plans to make buildings not dropped. Eh. I'm not worried about it. Uh, but, uh, Yeah, he's he's um he's not he's not able to make any more buildings. So I figured there'll be more buildings like this, more uh stuff like this to come, which will mean that some of these buildings will get swapped out in the future. Uh, Shack buildings. I told Moron about this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just how I talk. That's not. <laughs> That's not my sound quality, I don't think. That's just how I talk. Uh, I lose my train of thought a lot. Um, yeah, so Jonas is going to, whenever he comes back to modding, he'll be making more buildings like this, so a bunch will get swapped out. Moron said he probably forgot to put the interior in uh, with this. But the gates are done, the walls are done. Short of the nodes, towers are done. Building, these buildings are done. Um, he's probably gonna move these doors to the other side of these pillars. And he just plant the phoenix there. Um, Um, it's called, uh, what the fuck is it called? Holy Citadel, right? Holy Citadel. Citadel, Citadel door. Uh, 
only means you know You know what I can do? Well, no, because I need all the assets for Genesis in order to make it, so I probably should merge this. Um, and I'm going to have to re-merge it. No, fuck it. Data. Data. Pillars. Data. Data. Stairs. Data. For watch people, uh, who on a locked door that has a giant sign on it that says, please use other door. Uh, it's quite funny to watch. Uh, thank you. What? Duelists? Doesn't follow. I saw somebody the other day release a mod for, um, what is effectively like an FCS organizer. It's kind of terrible looking. It basically changed how, like, all of this stuff was organized. It gave me a good laugh. There wasn't any real uh, rhyme or reason behind how everything was set up. It wasn't like, you know, these are all your, like, if you look at these, it's like items. But instead, it was basically all of these, like, you would go to weapons and, and ranged weapons and crossbows. But they were all underneath items put on this side, so it wasn't like a tree anymore. Data, 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 data. Pam, 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 pam. Uh, some of the sun next to it. Nice. Upper, more exterior. Change. 
that you are weighing against the stuff that you generally use it for and what you need to do. And I could theoretically not include stuff like this, but I, uh, hmm. I don't know. Sometimes when you're watching, you just want something to put on the uh, side monitor, so. Tell you what, dude, the people at Twitch are going on a, going on a bender. Some girl went to TwitchCon and broke her back in a foam pit. <laughs> I don't know how you break your back in a foam pit, but she managed to do it. Uh, materials. Storm house, storm house, storm house, storm house, storm, storm, storm. So high data. Storm. Okay, so now I should be able to go in to Genesis, open that up, no way, and then merge that as building. to all the zone files. 
shift restore. Scan files. I might have just fucked that up. Let's see. All right. Don't need you. Newly shaded Genesis chosen. Fresh. All right. Let's see how hard I crash. on it. I started watching, uh, I don't know if you guys who are watching, uh, have watched The Boys. Uh, I started watching it yesterday. It's a um, pretty good show. Uh, so for those of you watching, uh, you haven't seen this before, this is the new Western High, uh, Capital.
stop it. Okay. Buildings. Here, right? Crash. This thing is fucking shit. Get away from it. If you're wondering why it got dark, it's because I enabled Kindred's um, bond. But you're wondering why it got dark. Okay. Um, ironically, has made it harder for me to see the goddamn screen. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's write this thing up. Lame. Discover Blister Hill. Now, my the contract I was talking about is completely separate. Uh, real life thing. Also, what's up, Ranger? I uh, had to do some work for some. Yeah, real life. Oh. Oh yeah, dude. Did you ever 
did you ever see this right here? Squint. What I did to the top of Squint. Pretty sure it would have been one of the ones that saw it. Basically, I condensed the town into like a valley. Shut the fuck up. Uh, this is the new... This is the new, uh, building that Jury made, or Jonas, Jonas made. That's a cool idea. I mean, you wouldn't really be able to, like, if you were to if you were to build these beams, um, you wouldn't technically be able to use them like cages. I mean, you could. At that point, you might as well just have cages. So, realistically, what you would want is like a solid model. Um, you know what, let's go to lights and focus on interior lighting first. Models not going to get up here in the stairs. So let's see. So let's do one, two, three, four. have torches out here, but not, they have torches, I feel like it would be more like gas lanterns, 
they would have torches on the balcony. Does that work? Is my mic close enough now? Can you hear me? <laughs> Sorry, I I I haven't streamed in a while, so I I'm talking like really really softly again. Um <clears throat> Mostly just talking to myself. I'm I'm just trying to figure out if they would have torches inside. So like, would would they have torches here? Yeah, nah. <laughs> uh, would they have torches in this room? And maybe, but I was thinking that they would probably have because this is going to be like the guard room down here, and this will be, you know the balconies and stuff like that. They would have tall torches out here. Uh, just call it Phoenix. Save it. Alright, uh, let's see. If I clear this... Okay. So it does say everything. Okay, cool. Um, they have because I feel like guards are going to stand here like you'd have one two one two guards at the front door but would you have because I feel almost like you would have these guys here. There's a... Let's try that. Lights. Center torch. Can't actually fucking see anything. That's a problem. Right here. Okay. Let's do this.
yeah, this is going to be the Phoenix of Throne. And then there'll be another version that looks similar to this. I think me and Boron talked about, like, removing uh, this balcony. Hold on. I think me and Boron talked about removing this balcony and closing this up. And then removing this overhang. So you just have this balcony and this up on the top. And then that would be the church. Um, because what that will allow me to do is basically slap the giant sign on top of it instead of using, uh, you know, step houses as a church. So you said ceiling is high enough to justify torches and doors. Yeah, I, I do. All right, let's let's work on guard tables and stuff like that. Real question: Where the fuck would you put kitchen? Maybe up here. What would this? Because this is outside. But this would be like, because Boron wants to make this. Uh, so Ranger, what we were talking about, me and Boron were talking about earlier. Uh, is to move these two small doors here and here on these sides of the pillars. So you come up the stairs from down below and then you walk out. And then what we'll do is we'll put the king here on this side of this wall. Uh, that way he's between two pillars or the, the phoenix, the phoenix. Um... So this will be Motherfucker, you do not want to fight me. Where's the door? Okay, so the door goes underneath. That's there. And how about if I show it to you? Um. It's just not here right. Well, yeah, so so the Phoenix will be sitting sitting this way, right? 
Um, so these doors will be on either side of these pillars, and he'll be sitting here. Um, he'll also have some, like, used spots where he can lean over. So the idea is that this building will be roughly right here, and it'll face, you know, basically, like, it'll face, basically, you know, over his kingdom. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with the entrance. Uh, which I guess doesn't really matter right now. It's fine. Let's just focus on the interior. on it. So... Huh. Given his position... I'm trying to figure out where the fuck I should put, like, a chef area. A kitchen. Um. Maybe here? Or maybe that would be a... Yes, I do kind of agree with that. However, the entrance won't be here. It'll be like here and here uh, on these sides of the pillars, and then I'll have this like like a like a small wall here, uh, and then he'll have uh, guards facing the doors here more than like. Uh, cause this is a little step down. It's an odd building, for sure. Uh...
it definitely does create some, you know, issues for how you would perceive. Because realistically, what I would do is I would add a staircase instead of connecting here. I would add, like, if we were going to do double staircases, I would have, you know, uh, goes up here, comes around, goes up, and then goes up here, comes around, and goes up. Uh, and then I would have the king who would sit in the middle. But I'm going to assume he's going here. What or what do I want to do? Let's make... If he's the phoenix, he's probably a bit of an asshole. Let's see. I'll make this the kitchen. I'll make downstairs. Like a gathering group of sorts. Uh, pretty much the same thing. It's he, he's going to change how these doors work, uh, or where rather where they're located. Um, but that was my only gripe with the building, is that there wasn't a place to back the king up against the wall. I've got to compress these. Spiders, huh? Spiders? Now I should go with interior walls. Wooden. Mission.
Yeah, ironically enough, Jonas is the one that created this. Um, or oddly enough, not ironically. Um, but yeah, he's the one that created this. And then Moron did, did the interior and stuff. Is it okay if I'm the same? Do interior walls cause problems, or do they simply not add them to models to have customized buildings? Um, that's a good question. I don't think they cause problems. I think it's more so you just want the customizable option, right? Um, there are some issues with it, like uh, cause tried to do the um, like with the storehouse cause tried to do the customizable floors and walls and stuff like that so it gets a little confusing um, because you can't add more at least right now you can't add more node points and you can't dictate like hey this is a wall this goes in a wall node or hey this is a floor this goes in a floor node you just have like general use nodes and you have uh, you have general use nodes, you have light nodes, and you have uh, like turret nodes. So the only things that snap together are general use nodes, and you use those for like walls, um, or fences, or you know stuff of that nature, like tur uh, uh, towers. Um, and then you have or signs like on buildings you can put signs on general use nodes um, there's also like lights go to light nodes um, and then defensive goes to defensive nodes uh, so like turrets and stuff like that um, but yeah, there's no way to like really dictate what can snap to each other, so it's a little bit of a pain um, to manage such things because you might have a floor, um, like with Paz's building, you might have a floor, and when you try to like say this this is meant to be this little rectangle right here, if that rectangle is meant to be snappable, you can snap floors or walls or you know whatever to it and then they you know start freaking out um that's why i use the storehouse a building everywhere and not or the storehouse b because the a is the one with the the interior flooring
Here, but I'm that. So now we'll go to the interior, grab some random table. Which we should go to uh -oh. Let's see. Shells. Uh, um, random shells. That should be nice. oh, I don't need a randomized divide. Empty, so Uh, right, me.
They would probably have bedpans instead of, like, toilets inside. Alright, so I did it here, 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 here. Very well. <laughs> this 
song. It's a white. I need like five minutes, I cannot like, you know, slaughter a whole family and eat babies. Katarina nailed this damn head though. Just the attention to detail and stuff like that. Like these molds actually have like 3D modeling behind them and stuff like that. Oh, right. A lot bigger though. be a tiny table.
That's the wrong one. Sorry, give me a second. I'm dicking around with some of my electronics.
crash on all of its walls. Lost uh, one one light. I, uh, I woke up this morning, uh, was wrapping up my, uh, contract report and, um, I was sitting, I was sitting on the front porch and, uh, this family, this is gruesome and I don't know why I'm about to tell you these guys, but, uh, uh, my morning was what a hell of a morning. So I woke up and I'm sitting there, I'm drinking coffee and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm writing up my, uh, last report from my contract and uh, as I'm sending it in this family of deer walks by and so this uh, this family uh, is just basically like you know doing whatever deer do they're just walking by and they um, <laughs> they walk under this tree and the buck uh, he, he's He's a bigger buck, but he's not got, like, like huge antlers or anything. He walks up to this massive tree and, like, headbutts it and starts, like, rubbing up against it. And, uh, I guess the tree, and this tree was fucking huge. Maybe 20 feet tall. Um, diameter-wise, maybe like a good five feet across. Um, this tree was huge, but apparently it was rotten inside. And so over the last, uh, if you don't know and you don't live in America, um, Hurricane Ian passed through. Um, and it was really, really bad down in the southern uh, area, but uh, the southern United States. But when it came like north, it was just like super, super high winds. And so those winds came through and it knocked down a lot of trees in the forest. Um, and apparently this tree was rotten inside. So this deer goes up and it starts like headbutting it and like running up against it and, and, and stuff like that. And the tree <laughs> just explodes at the bottom. And as the deer are running off, this tree comes crashing down and it ended up crushing, like, two of them. <laughs> and I was just like... I was just like... That's... That's enough being awake for right now. I should be on my way to start streaming and stuff like that. But I was like, nah, I'm fucking going back to bed. What the fuck did I just watch? It's too early in the morning for this shit. So I, uh... I went back to sleep. <laughs> I... I was, I didn't even know what to fucking think. I was just like, what, what the fuck did I just see?
Yeah, it was, um... The tree was, like... I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture, uh, to tomorrow morning, and I'll, I'll, I'll post it before I start streaming again. Not of the dead deer, but of, like, of the tree. Um... And I'll show you, like, the aftermath. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, storage. Like, it wasn't even really the buck's fault. It wasn't like, like I said, like, the buck was big, but it wasn't big enough to topple a tree that fucking big. Um, and so, I don't know. It's just, I was just like, what the fuck am I even doing awake right now? Let me go back to bed. Um, it's, yeah, I'm just talking to myself, or thinking to myself. Um, no, it was, it was my, 
my property. Well, technically, I live on somebody else's property. Uh, but the property I stay on, it was my property. Go to fireplaces, traditional metal. There, uh, yeah, Katrina's. So, interior. Yeah, I'm doing uh, uh, the interior for Phoenix. Now, um, I'm just doing the interior for 
now. Um, as some of the some of the buildings still have some issues. Alright, Ranger, I'll see you later, my guy. Um, but I think some of the buildings have some issues. Uh, and then once those are done, uh, I'll start on the Holy Nation. Uh, the price overall for internet is good. The tech is solid too. The dish is self-heating. Good for Canadian weather. It also auto positions itself. Uh, did you know? Um, I found this out from uh, a friend of mine, uh, Juicy. But um, in Canada, there's only three internet companies. Um, and we've been talking on and off about, like, Elden Ring and stuff like that. Um, her, her or his, I'm not sure, um, what sex Juicy is, but, yeah, they only have three internet companies, and the, um, they're, they're, like, terrible terrible internet unless you're in like inner cities and even then they get super congested all the time so we were talking about getting uh she or I think it's I think Juicy is she, but we were talking about Juicy should get a um, Starlink. Be happy. I wish I could put more like uh, strike right, purple.
Um, I mean, yes and no. Okay, so the problem with America is mostly that um, we don't have like so in the Midwest. It's a problem because I think there's only one internet company out there, but along like the west coast and the east coast and along the southern border of the U.S., there's a lot of uh, startups and and stuff like that. There's also uh, like Google Fiber, um, which is some of literally the fastest internet in the world. Um, they I think they boast something like five gig internet speeds or something like that, like out the box, and you pay sixty dollars a month. The obvious downside to that is they literally have control over all of your data. Um, but I mean, if you need it for business or something like that, most of your outgoing and incoming traffic is encrypted anyways. Um, unlike say. You know, uh, your standard, uh, residential. Um, but yeah, so, so the thing is, is they only have three internet companies up there, but here you have Google, you have AT&T, you have, uh, Spectrum, you have, there's maybe like 10, 15 internet companies that I know of off the top of my head that's not counting, like, local internet companies and stuff like that. So, but the, the problem up there in Canada is anytime someone starts a new internet company to compete with the three big companies, the government allows these companies to buy out that internet company. So, unlike in the U.S., where if AT&T was to buy or try and buy, like, Spectrum, um, they would get their their you know their butt handed to them by the uh, the SEC or the whoever the trade commission is in the U.S. Uh, so, but she was saying she pays. Uh, Juicy was saying she pays something like maybe a hundred something a month, whatever the Canadian equivalent is, a uh, hundred like roughly a hundred dollars, and. Canadian dollars, which is almost 150 U.S. dollars, uh, but uh, she was saying she pays something like 100, 150, something like that. Uh, she pays a lot, but her speeds are like astronomically slower than even the slowest internet speeds I could find in my area. Um, and it isn't even necessarily that, like, her speeds are slow. It's also the fact that her ping is terrible. So, um, because they rate limit them up in, up in Cana uh, Canada, they rate limit them. So, you technically have unlimited data, but you get rate limited after like 35 gigabytes. Whereas for most companies in the US, it's something like a thousand gigabytes, right? So you have, you know, almost a terabyte to be able to download uh, stuff, which nobody's, you know, nobody, unless you're like a tech company, nobody's really going to need like a terabyte worth of data. Um, but you know, and then you have faster internet speeds, faster download and uploads and stuff like that. So I was talking about how I think she should get um, Starlink because Starlink only has data limits when there's like high congestion in her in your area. Um, so it's one of those things where like you know, for her, the ping is going to drop from something like eight hundred ping, seven hundred ping. Um, down to, like, maybe a hundred at the worst times. 
yeah, that's what I was saying. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, you think your ping is bad? My ping is, like, 60. She was like, no, my ping is 700. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, there's no way. There's no way. Um, yeah, so she she DM'd me on Discord and was like, hey, what do you think about the down payment of, like, $950? And I was like, you know, it's not like it doesn't have ginormous benefits to your whole household, right? Yeah. Let's see if I can find the picture and I'll show you. We talked a lot about Elden Ring. I'm excited to see what'll happen with the um the DLC. I'm assuming we'll go with DLC. If they don't, that would be kinda silly. Somebody... Somebody, uh, sent me a picture of a hamster sleeping on its balls. Yeah, this is her pink. It's 713 milliseconds. So you look at this, and you look at the download and upload, and you're like, oh, that's... That's good internet. <laughs> and you look at the pink, and you're like, what the fuck? That kind of latency is wild. Long one spread. Uh, dusty head? Deep. Here. And. Ah! Why did I. Oh, because I. I am. Uh, how much did I lose? I forget about that every time. And it sucks that I haven't streamed in like two months because I definitely forgot about that. I went straight over the floor button with something selected. I think I just say, oh, I just say, I don't want to redesign that room again. <clears throat> My throat is being scratchy.
know what's funny is I keep getting messages that somebody's like trying to log into my Facebook. And then it occurs to me <laughs> that I don't actually know how to log into my Facebook anymore. <laughs> it's always this weird feeling because I'm like, I'm like, oh no, I'm getting hacked. And then I'm like, wait, I don't even know why I would care. There's nothing on my Facebook and, you know, it's not exactly like, uh, like I should care anyways. Alright, let's see. Um, plants. So I had table here. What is that? Oh, here. Alright, let's see. Uh, holy nation. Did you see the news, uh, Para? Did you see the news about PayPal? That had me laughing my ass off. Bench here, bench here. Uh, I had a bench here. Take chair here, and I'll put chair here. Save that. Uh, PayPal. Did you see the uh, PayPal news? So basically, they went uh, super political, and um, they basically threatened to take twenty five hundred dollars from people for misinformation. Uh, and the most obvious thing you can think of is, is like, well, who are you to determine what misinformation is? And uh, yeah, it was it was absolutely just hilarious. Uh, let me see buildings. Uh, because their stock plummeted. People were like, Elon Musk came out and he was like, "This is not the PayPal I know. Cancel your PayPal accounts." And their uh, their stock plummeted. I think it was like fifteen percent or something like that in like a couple hours.
Oh, shut up. I thought about, um, in all honesty, I thought about adding a brothel. I'm not gonna do anything with, like, nudity or anything like that, but kind of just, like, you go in and it's got, like, really opulent rugs and, you know, all the curtains. It's got, like, hashy smoking spots and, and stuff like that, um, with some, like, animated dancing spots or something like that. See bathtub. Bathtub. Pretty sure I have a. Yeah, I don't want to do anything like perverted, but um, yeah. It's No, 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 yeah, I, I know what you're saying, I'm just saying I, I think it would be, I think it would be appropriate, um, maybe in something like Hang. I always thought that was cool. Are there buildings that just generate stuff from nothing? Yes. That's what the uh, automatic mines do. You don't even have to uh, attach them to any form of... Uh, um, there's... If you download or you look up I think it's by Russell Jim, uh, Jimmy Bob. I think it's uh, Deep Well Finding or something like that. Uh, Para, you should be able to see the um, what he did, and then just copy the uh, like the material cost and or the the material output and the, the power and um, stuff like that.
I've got a bathroom, I've got a table. Thanks for the, uh, the raid, Jstrio. Uh, depending on how big your, um, What's up, Sylvictus? Yeah, I'm actually I'm actually the creator of uh, Genesis. So, what's up, um, Para? Depending on how big your, I mean, your menu obviously isn't gonna look like this, but um, what is it? I, I put it under exterior. You should look under the miscellaneous section and look for uh, the tower frame. You might be able to use that as a uh, good template for you, Hera. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, one of them about the city of Locke. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, TLDR, Locke is gone. Um, next update. I'll, um, Jystro, if you haven't been following streams, I will, uh, actually show you around. Um, so, a bunch of new buildings. Uh, this is the new Holy Nation Palace. I'm currently working on the interior. Um, so, this will be where the um, Holy Phoenix hangs out. I'm currently working on the interior, like I said, working on his bedroom. Um, you'll have uh, stuff like this. Um, all my, all my past streams, if you want to watch them, um, this is the new Western Hive capital, um, dozens if not, yeah, dozens of new Hive buildings, um, let's see, let's find, let's go to this Hive village, um, New high villages. Thanks for the subscription, man. Um, yep. All the all the main high villages are completely redone. Um, they were actually super easy to redo too. Oh, you can't see that far. Um, let me see some of the bigger stuff. I moved Bane's Pass out of here. Um, I've got to redo it again. Um, this is the new squin. It's now buried under what basically looks like a cave. Um, I completely tightened up like the inside 
um, all of this area is walkable, but now it looks like a, a like packed market town. Um, there's a bunch of like overhangs and stuff like that. Market stalls hidden behind. There's torches, and lights, and market tents everywhere. Um, they got the Sheck got some new. Um, I've got to read you ad mag again. But the Sheck got some new walls. Oh, I crashed. Did I crash? Did I crash? Well, I should kill it. Um, there's a. Uh, there's a bunch of new buildings coming. There's a bunch of, I mean, there's a lot of buildings coming. Um, what is this? Rebel, Rebel Scum? <laughs> there's so much stuff that's completely new mod. Not quite, but the entire tech tree is being overhauled, um, which is the purpose of the update. I'm condensing towns to make them feel a lot more busy and a lot more tighter knit, while also being a reflection of how technologically pro progressed they are. Um, oh, I moved. Okay. So, I moved the rebel base uh, that was down here, up here. It's now actually a fully-fledged rebel bar. Um, and it's hidden on top of this hill. Um, let's see. The hub isn't changing too much. Um... I moved, what's it called, what's it called now, the, I moved the, the, uh, fuck, what the hell is it called, the market, the, um, I don't know, I forgot what the hell it's called, um, there's a whole bunch of new buildings coming, this is, town of Carsey. I renamed it the Bazaar. Yeah, thank you, John. Uh, I moved the Bazaar into the center of the South Bloodlands. I really should be playing with um, Kindred's Mod if I'm going to be jumping around this much. Yeah, so this is Carsey. I renamed it. Uh, this is the player-owned house. It sticks out. Uh, let me see. Some other notable changes. Um, I've redone almost all the cities. I've cleaned up a bunch of areas. I moved Leviathan from its location over here. I removed. I moved it over here. Well, I've got to redo all the cities. Uh, that includes um, all the ruins, all the cannibal villages, and stuff like that. Um, just as a heads up, uh, Burn got a um, an update. Yeah, if you're on the Discord, just feel free to, you know, leave, leave bug reports. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a lot of hours. Yeah, don't, please don't be afraid to, um, you know, uh, what the fuck am I going to say? Please don't be afraid to, you know, leave bug reports. Most of the, um, well, while we're loading here. Give me Discord. Um, most of the stuff that I need to check out is in the pins. Um... Some of them are bugs that I won't be fixing for a while. Others are stuff that, uh, like Frankie was telling me, these are super OP. Um, but a lot of the stuff is pinned. And obviously, if you use the search function, you can search up to see if what you're about to report is, you know, um, if, if it's already reported, um, or has already been discussed, or already been fixed. Um, let's see, where's Burn? Why? So, um, Burn got an upgrade, uh, from Radiant Faces. Um, Sad Neil and Agnew did as well. All of the unique recruits, all of the vanilla unique recruits now have completely, um, See if we go to add mag. Uh, here's some of the new uh, building types. Uh, this is from one of Snug Snug mods. Uh, they've got metal along the bottom now for the shack. Um, let's see. Tell you by Ann. Uh, this is Seto now. Not gonna lie, I fucking really like this, this facial texture. It's 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. Hero went through and added a bunch of new high, high definition textures and stuff like that. Um, a bunch of the Sheck have new eye colors. Bayan has, has its own unique eye colors. Uh, they look a little dragony compared to the other ones. I think he's using Bayan's face texture as well. Um, there's a bunch of unique hivers. Um, stuff like that. Um, I've got to redesign AdMag. So I wanted AdMag to really look like kind of the last events, right? Like, this is where the majority of the bigger Sheck population is. Whereas Squin, um, off to the east, 
Where's it at? It's over this direction. Right over there. Uh. But yeah, so you'll have, um, also, uh, Jastro, if you haven't seen them already. Have I shown them? I think I've shown these off. These are the new museum. So we have, actually, I'll just go to the city and show you. Uh, right, not spring. So this is the current concept for Todaitera. Yeah, so the assassination quests, um, they won't be fixed for a, a little while. Uh, at least not until, they'll be the first thing I focus on after this update. Um, but they won't be touched this update. Because I've, I've still got to do, I've got to do the entire, uh, where's it at? I've got to do the entire Haller Maze quest line, and I've got to do the entire uh, Fish Island quest line. Uh, but yeah. So, this is the current concept of the city. Uh, much of the city won't change, except for, well, much of the city. Like, you have the houses and stuff like that. Um... There's a bunch of new assets that have been added, uh, but there's also oh, that's right. I didn't merge them yet. Uh, so the most of the quest lines are placeholder. The next quest line, you'll be able to... Okay, so the only bigger part of quest line is the one in the hub right now. Um, and those will be added in piece by piece. The next one will involve talking to the mercenary police guy that pops up after you renovate the hub. And once you talk to him, uh, because Locke is now gone... I deleted lock. It's completely gone. Um, you will help the mercenary guild and the thieves guild take over Morn, which will add more stuff for you to do in Morn. Um, but let's see. Um, so I'll show you some of the new, where are they at? Yeah, that's all there is for the quest at the moment.
So there's also, um, if you haven't seen them yet, I'll show you the, uh, the new So High building assets. Well, buildings. So we have, uh, just go down. We have, uh, this guy. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see him too well. New walls. Guardhouse. Guardhouse. Uh, singular. A ramp. We have a new uh, church like building. Temple. Guard house, short house. I just crashed. Doing too goddamn much. Um, let's see. channel video I've still got to show up here. Let me see. Alright. I will post this in the Discord if you haven't already. But there's, uh. Yeah, that. That? Yeah, that. <clears throat> this basically shows you all the, all the new buildings. Most of the new buildings. Because the new building I'm working on right now, obviously, isn't there. Um. Uh, All right, Don. I'll catch you later. Actually, speaking of, I probably should hop off as well. Um, it's five o'clock. It's gonna rain or what? Uh, at eight. But yeah, there's, um, I don't know, there's maybe a thousand new buildings coming. I'll show you know what I can do. Uh, let's see. I can also just paste this here. Not gonna sneeze on you guys. Air, 
but uh, basically the idea is to redesign the tech tree and then you'll be able to see what a town's tech level is by visually looking at the town. Like, you'll know that when you're in Squin, you're not in like a tech level 4 town. You'll have like a tech level 3 town or something. Lights. I guess that would be very damn smart. I'll put them here. Do that. Oh. 
uh, F12 menu, the shift F12, yeah. So yeah, you just shift F12, buildings, find the buildings. I don't want something right here, but I don't know what to put right here. Why is this I guess that one. Nice. Good. Good. I can. Oh, fuck. Son of a bitch. Let's see. Uh, storage. 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 What can I put? I
storage General storage boxes. Huh. I did maybe a hundred hour stream. Genesis, nice. We think about battle tournaments, Phoenix first. Yeah, I know the deal. There's um there's also let me say this real quick. There's uh well let's see. Let me see. No, they're made in uh, Blender. Um, there's a bunch of new armors. Uh, a bunch of new squad setups. Why are these guys green? Bunch of new patrols. Bunch of new Uh, these guys are pretty easy to uh, pick out. They're um, the rangers, the group. Uh, let's see if I can't find any citizens. Uh, this is the new sacred guard. Um, let's see. There's a new church. Uh, you can find the church by the symbol. New church goers. Uh, some of them even have weapons. Uh, 
Uh, they're all city. Church. Where's the priest? Here he is. New priest? Oh, uh, this should be fairly obvious. They actually have eating animations now, drinking animations. Um, uh, beds are up here. Yeah, so there's uh, there's two churches in this town. Um, there'll be more buildings added before before I'm done. Um, but yeah, so let's see what else is there. Uh, we jump to Flats Lagoon, take a look at it. Probably already seen Flats Lagoon, um, but I finally sorted out most of their um, clothing and stuff like that. Actually, I think this is no, this isn't new. Yeah, I don't have, um, Moron, I don't have the newest, well, I don't have the newest, newest version of Remastered. Uh, so we've got, basically, citizens will now spawn with, like, completely randomized, where the fuck is he naked? Eh, whatever. Completely randomized gear, uh, pacifier, uh, same thing with Flats Lagoon, they spawn with all sorts of gear. So what the fuck is ship, escape, options, audio. Work around those busy little bees. They spawn with uh, random backpacks, uh, a bunch of random weapons. Uh, shadows broken in it. I mean, I have, I have, I think, Kindred sent me version seven of remastered. Um, but currently, I still have version four plugged in. Um, it's just not on right now. Um, let's see. There's new fishermen. I'm pretty sure those are already in game. Um, but they've got little uh, fishing tackle on themselves. Uh, they have a new backpack. The Backpack arguably stretches. Um, they carry a fishing rod as a weapon. Um, there'll be a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we can jump over to Heft. Heft.
Yeah, it's it's boron. It definitely feels weird to stream without remastered because of how long everything takes to load in. I I mean, but I'm also jumping across the map, so. So, um, let's see, out of this. Uh, the United Cities now has a bunch of mix of different buildings, uh, farms, and they also have um, what are effectively little shanty towns. Uh, so you can actually like walk in these shanty towns and use them to sleep in. Um, they're not, they're not good, uh, like, there's farm over here, there's farm here, um, uh, Ventures Guild Rally Point, uh, I also did, I have no idea how long this will take to, um, I redid almost all the slave camps, so this is Rot. Yeah, low life house. So this is rot. Uh, this is what it looks like during the day. These are their forges. Their iron forges. Um, and this is what it looks like at night. Basically, the whole place just turned pitch black. It even blacks out the sky because of the smoke. Yeah, that's, that'll be fixed, uh, next update. Um, and then we have... I remade... This is gonna take a second. I remade, uh, Hank and Trader's Edge. Uh, so they have a tiny little shanty town, uh, but I currently need to fix it. I'll probably have to replace this tower with something else uh, for the Thieves Guild. Get rid of these. And, uh, creatures. So now you have Hang, which is this part, and then you have Traders, or you have Traders Edge, which is this part, and then you have uh, Hang, which is literally the entire rest of the city. Uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure this might crash. House one. So this will be the new noble house setup. Um, as you can see, I took a lot of care into the. Um, I'll have to flip these around. I took a lot of care to put together a very fancy. <clears throat> Is there? have any chance or a way to beat oh yeah um you could beat him 
he's going to be difficult, but you can beat him. Yeah, so no more room up here. And then down here would be like a bar lounge area for his guards and stuff. Um, let's see, is this a bar? What are you? Oh, player, player house. This is a bar. Start piling in. Oh, this guy's facing the wrong way. What the hell is he doing, fucking slave? Ah, that's funny. People are reading. <laughs> um, yeah, bar bar owner is sis. Oh no, it's a guard. Um, what these guys are doing. Shop guard, they should actually be standing in guard zone. They're not. Um, and then there's a bunch of regular use seats and stuff like that. Uh, there might even be. Yeah, these three drunks. Uh, sometimes there's a guy. Did I? I think I removed them. Yeah, so basically these will be your bars now. Um, there's a bunch of uh, slave houses, a bunch of camps around, uh, mines and stuff like that um, in the area. Um, little place like that. All the way stations are getting redesigned. So, all the way stations are going to look uh, completely unique. Um, sometimes they'll be named way station, but other times you'll have cities like Iron Haven, which are the replacement to uh, way stations. I've got to redesign Horn. I redid Katoon, Katun. Who should we call it? It's now uh, got incredibly beefed up security. Um, a lot of people were complaining about how there's uh, a bunch of leviathans and animals can walk in and kill all the... Uh, they get rid of the bodies. Um, this is also the new Scrapmaster, Katun Scrapmaster, as you can see on their thing. Uh, they got two bars. I think one of them is supposed to be the player house. Yeah, so like I said, Locke is um, lock is gone. Uh, it no longer exists. Uh, where's that? The over here? Yeah, it's gone. Uh, let's see. What's some other things? Uh, I moved Tortuga. I'm not going to show you Tortuga because that's a spoiler. 
uh, moon molt and move the moon molt uh, onto a tiny island. Uh, rhinestone, some other stout chokai. Uh, Sword rents there, drifters last, port sound. I did move port sound down here. So this is port south. Uh, you say northeast? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, Support South is just a simple city slave farm. Uh... Let me see. I redesigned Port North. Uh, here. I redesigned Park. Uh, move Leviathan. Completely redesigned Leviathan. I'll uh, spoil that for you if you want. In fact, it should be interesting to uh, most of you. Oh, there's new, uh, better textured animals. Added some variations in. There's also, uh, these guys. <gasps> it's skeleton cities now. There they go. On a patrol. Fix that. Um, these are the new skeleton houses. Uh, yes, they do have solar panels. In fact, you'll pretty much only find skeletons. Um, I've got to rewrite their whole city lore, but basically, uh, they have no idea. Yeah, they have no idea that the uh, Second Empire fell, and so basically they're the last of the Second Empire fighters against the cannibals. Um, which is why they're positioned up here. Um, I also moved the forge here. Uh, the one that was over here, whatever it was. Uh, so now it's in the Leviathan. Um, there's a new skeleton type. Uh, you guys might actually really enjoy this. Uh, they're only found in one location, and they're incredibly fragile. 
but uh, if you guys know anything about the uh, reprogramming workshop. This entire uh, yeah yeah Jstar or Jstar they got a um, they got a new race and they're <laughs> yeah they're uh, let's say cute. Nah, well, like Lion Head. But they, uh, yeah, they, uh, they look like this. They're actually really, really well made. Yeah, they're cute as hell. Not entirely sure why their heads are blowing. Lights? Maybe lights. Yeah, they're just meant to be like really ramshackle skeletons. Really, really squishy. So they're really, really squishy. Um, yeah, I w if people want to recruit them, the recruit zero zero you know fff should technically work on Iron Mount? I don't know that I would do robotic dogs unless they were like really, really good looking. Um, see. I think that's pretty much all the like big, big changes. The really, really big changes. Uh, I changed some of Bruce's eye. Probably gonna move regret. Oh, and I redesigned Mongrel. 
and I'll let you guys discover that if you haven't already seen it. Okay. Yeah, I moved Leviathan City. That was the one that I showed you with the uh, the enforcers. Curious how this will look at night. Okay. Yeah, the palace blueprint blueprints will be in the palace. There's, um, if you guys want to see, uh, this, let me see, mods, this is still, uh, version 4, so. I'm still maxed. Oh, that's right, some of the text was broken. There's no, uh, New armor pieces for the empire and stuff like that. Second empire. Probably already seen this, but uh, robots wear limbs.
Uh, they don't have a shirt item. They have a, um, like an armor piece on. Let's just uh, travel. Um, so, in case you can't tell, um, grass and plants. Now, um, so when you're looking away from the sun, they're now a lot brighter. Now they don't have a stealth bonus. They're just uh, aggressive. And when you're looking towards the sun, they get a lot darker. Same thing with when you're wet, when you're... Uh, let's see, F12. Down at the bottom. Not me. Go away.
Did I change? I did change my earth a bit. Not by much, but a bit. There was a. Uh, I'll go here. It um, it's dark with this mod on. There we go. There's the nice guy. Yeah, remaster should be releasing probably by the end of the year. So, if you have a PC for max graphics, you should be able to do what I did and basically run across the entire continent at max speed with max graphics and have very little no loading. Anyways, I'll be uh, I'll be streaming again tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, or you know, whatever, all that good stuff. Try to get to a uh, thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I think we're at five here now, four hundred something. Um, then after that, it's just watch time. But I'll uh, I'll be on early tomorrow. Uh, well, a lot earlier than it was today. But, uh, or I might do, I'll figure it out tomorrow. No reason to keep everybody around. But I'll, uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Is there anybody I can But I'll um, catch you guys tomorrow. And uh, thank you everybody for stopping by.